episode of Mouthful, the cooking and cocktail show with me, Lisa Potter Dixon. And me, Dominic Fang. And we are making some juicy deliciousness today. We are. It feels like spring is in the air, yes. finally. Spring is in the air, everywhere, everywhere. around. Anyway, <laughs> um, and we are going to make a very, very simple peach and raspberry galette. What is a galette when it's at home? A galette is kind of like an open pie tart thing. It's very French, very, very rustic. Well, it sounds delicious and I love a peach. And what are we going to drink it with? We are going to drink a cherry pie cocktail. Oh, so it's all kind of quite kind of puddingy and gorgeous. And fruity and delicious. So let's get stuck in with your galette. <laughs> Okay, stone fruit is in season and it's just beautiful. Okay, so what are we gonna do with this? Super ripe is what you want them. Okay. And we're gonna cut them into probably eight. You know when like you get that ripe at home, whatever, is that what they call ripe? Ripen at home. It never ripens. No. So I always get ripe now. Ripe and ready. <laughs> right, so we wanna chop these into, I think eight. Okay. So like that. All right, now we're gonna kind of boost the flavour. Yeah. I'm going to start with a lemon. Please may I have the lemon squeezer? You may. One. it in. Thank you. I think that's probably half a lemon is probably enough. They're yeah. quite juicy ones, aren't they? They are. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of ground almonds. Now obviously ground almonds are really good for you type of people. <laughs> Another allergy, gluten. That in there like that. Okay. Wow. And raspberries. Now raspberries also are kind of one of those fruits that actually enhances the flavour of other mm. fruits. It adds sweetness. So they're going to go in. Isn't doesn't that look gorgeous? Like doesn't the colour of it. Beautiful. And just for a little bit more sweetness, I'm just going to drizzle on a teeny bit of honey. And then we're going to go in and mix it up. And I'm afraid to say, nice clean hands, best tool in the book. Why are you afraid to say that? I don't know, because people, you know, people out there in YouTube land, they're going to be like, oh, you use your fingers. I, don't, I think if they're still watching this, they know we've been doing that for the whole, <laughs> how many true. episodes. Okay. And that is the filling. Wow. Done. Okay, so we're now going to go in with some lovely short crust pastry. Of course, this is gluten-free pastry, and we've never used this one before. No. So I'm a little bit kind of not quite sure if it's going to work, but it kind of looks good. So I'm kind of quite impressed with it already. Yeah. But what it says is that you need to roll it between two sheets of parchment paper. And I don't have a rolling pin, so I can see that you have got some sort of cling film roll to improvise. Can you imagine? So it says you want to knead it a little bit first. Yeah. Just to get it a little pliable, which is quite nice. So you take it out of the fridge, what, half an hour before? Yeah, it needs to be kind of just room temperature. Yeah. And sort of roll it into a rough round like that. Yummy. Oh, I always wondered why it was called a rough. Because it's not precise. There you go. And I feel like I learn something new every time we film this. And then this is going to go on here. Yeah. And we're going to start just by pressing it down, just to kind of get it again, you know, giving it a little bit of manipulation and letting it, um, letting the pastry know that it needs to go into a round. But, and this may sound like an excuse, but galettes are supposed to be rustic. Oh, uh, okay. So don't go for perfection. Like you don't want the perfect round. Okay, got it. My rolling pin, Lisa Potter did. Yeah, but also you could have just bought your own rolling pin. I don't have a rolling pin or an iron. And then we're going to peel off the top piece. Ooh. Ooh, definitely more of a rough square. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to put the filling in the middle. Oh my God, without putting it in a pan? Is it? Yeah, because it's going to cook in the oven. In a pan? It's going to, this is just going to, we're just going to drop this no. into a pan. I thought this would go into a pie dish. No. <gasps> I've mesmerised by that. Oh my God, go on then. I love the fact that it's a learning day for everybody. Wow, you just chuck it in? Yeah. Just put it all in. It's probably a little bit too much, but we'll cope. I mean, like, if you were really artistic or you wanted it to look really gorgeous, you'd maybe spread it out really beautifully. But I like this kind of rustic vibe like this. <laughs> he means he can't be bothered. <laughs> but now what? And now we're going to fold up the sides oh, wow. to create a kind of pie. And you want to start in one place and you kind of go round and sort of 
pleat it, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. How easy <laughs> was that? Dom, this better cook well because this looks so bad. Listen. <laughs> it also better taste delicious. Anyone like, who's made a galette before knows that this is what it's supposed to look like. Please comment below if you've made a galette before or even heard of one. Right, the next thing we're gonna do is... Oh, you're uh, not doing that, you're not. I honestly, right, if you watched the first episode of series two, Dom did this with, what do you do it with cheese or something? Tomato, I don't even know, he's like, I'm gonna try it with the egg. Have you done that before? No. I've seen it done before. Chris, we need that like three times in a row, like on slow-mo, zoomed in or something. We can do it again on the next episode as well, because there are Oh three... God, oh, it's, we don't need to do it every episode. He's gonna do it every episode. Hey, I need an egg for my cocktail. Exactly. Oh no, you need a separate egg. Right, okay. Now and we're what? gonna brush this onto here. Okay, so now we're egg washing it to make it golden. Listen to you, egg washing it. That's what it's called, isn't it? I know, you know all the terms. This is like, I promise you, exactly what it's supposed to look like. Does it go upside down or is that? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no. And then we're gonna just sprinkle No, it doesn't. Because <laughs> if you don't know, everything Dom does usually goes upside down. Oh, now you're making it look better. That looks look nice. Well, Rustic, then. right? Right, this looks better now, covering it up. Okay, so we're gonna def delfly slide that onto the baking tray and that's going to go in an oven maybe set to like 160 fan for about 25 minutes. I thought you were like 160 fan? <laughs> <laughs> for how long? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Okay. And whilst that goes in the oven we are going to have a cocktail yes. that I'm going to criticise every single inch of. <laughs> the cherry pie. Let's make it. So this is kind of like a sour, which is one of our favorite drinks. Absolutely love a sour. And it's a vodka cherry sour. Oh, a vodka sour. A vodka cherry sour. So we're gonna give it a go. Okay, we're gonna start with a vodka. I'm gonna blend this because I think a, a sour needs to be really frothy. Yep, yep, Obviously yep. you have your egg white in it as well, but I'm gonna do this. Could you do it in a shaker as well? Yeah, you could do. Oh, that sounded nice. So a double shot per drink, there's three of us. Do it, so do we're it. Do Six. Three of these. <laughs> So, oh my god, I'm measuring. I started series two on a whole new level. This is weird. Isn't it? Yeah, good, nice. Thank you. Then what we're gonna do is put in an egg white if you wanna do right. that bit. I bought you this little gorgeous cup to put that your egg white so in. That is so beautiful. And at the same time, I'm going to squeeze one and a half lemons, so about 75 ml of lemon into here. Is that egg white just gonna go in? Just chuck it in. Get it in. Let's do the lemon. God, I do love, like, amaretto sour. Oh, I've got a pip in there. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. This is my favorite bit. The P.S. de la Resistance. These O.P.'s cherries are so amazing. And we're gonna use the juice. And we're it, gonna do. If you've never tried these dark cherries, uh, the juice is just another level incredible. So that is 100 ml that I've put in there. Should I show, throw a few cherries in there too? For sure. <laughs> it's all gonna get blended. Let's just put a few of those in. And one in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> and then we're just gonna mix it all up with this little whizzy blender. We use this so much actually. Yeah, it's really handy. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. Oh. Cool, we are loving the colors of our cocktails, aren't we? We really are. Right, for our champagne and smoke press event, I put cherries inside giant ice cubes, okay? Look at this. And then just fr freeze it, and it's so cool. That I is thought, so beautiful, one in each glass. Yeah, perfect for this. So I'm gonna put one in each glass, like so. And then pour. Oh, look how thick and luscious that is. Pie over. It's like a slush puppy yeah, it's almost. Lovely. It's beautiful. Look at the colour of that. Gorgeous, right? Absolutely. So we've got these beautiful cherries with the stems. And we're just going to attempt. Oh, look, it's like Rose and Jack on the, on the wooden <laughs> door. Oh, no, she's better in oh, there. Oh, there we go. And there we have our cherry pie cocktail. So let's get a mouthful of this. Right, let's have a mouthful. Come on, Chris, see you go. See what you think? <sighs> The Ooh. cherry pie sour. 
Okay, cheers Thank guys. You. Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Okay. Ooh. Oh no, I like that. I that's like good. Yeah, that's really good. Nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is just how I like sweet a sour. Yeah. 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 Sweet and sour, perfect. That is good, isn't it? Just gonna pop my cherry. <laughs> and this is gonna go perfect with a, a something galette. A peachy raspberry galette. So you better get out of the that this guy will talk! So that is gonna go perfect with a peachy raspberry galette. So we better that. get out of the oven. Not let's go perfect with. A peachy raspberry galette. Well, we better get it out of the oven. <laughs> I feel like you need to do your posh M&S voice for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for the galette. This is no ordinary galette. This is a Dom in the Kitchen mouthful galette. Which looks better than I thought it would. Oh, thanks. It Cheers, looks, babe. It looks um, edible. Look, <laughs> just think of the word rustic. We're going to just drizzle a little bit of honey over the top okay. just to make it look. Okay, drizzle of honey. Oh, how lovely is that? Lovely. And I love a toasted almond slither. Same. Go on now, put some side plates. Nice. Just going to cut it up like a pizza. Oh, juicy. Wow. Maybe with a dollop of cream or ice cream would be nice. Custard. I mean, I'm not a fan of custard. What? I love custard. Do you? I could eat custard in a bowl by itself. This actually smells really good. Right, come and get a mouthful of this. Give it a go. Mm. Do you know what would be lovely with this? Is some cold cream. Mm. Right, we've got, actually got a bit of cream. Anyone want a bit of cream? Yeah, I do. Nice. Mm. Is that it? Are we done? Mm. Gorgeous. I mean, nice. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. And, um, mm. See you next time. See you next week. Bye.